Heavenly Father, as we, as we come into your presence, Father, we pray that the songs we sing, we pray, Father God, that in every breath, that Lord Jesus Christ, we bring you glory, honor, and praise for all that you have done. And Father, as we assemble to sacrificing ourselves, Father God, sacrificing the time to, Father, to just come into your holy presence, we are thankful, Father, that it's only possible through your perfect sacrifice, Lord Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit, as we bless your holy presence, the only way we know how, we lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray that the teacher, Holy Spirit, the teacher, will teach us through your living word, through Christ. And Father, I lift up every soul, that Father God, on this glorious day, that we will not leave the same. Heavenly Father, bless us, charge every angel over us, go before us, Father God, pushing evil far, far, far away from us. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray, and all God's beloved said, Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Today, we're going to be in a, a couple books of the gospel, and then we're going to tie everything together in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. And we're just going to jump right in. Can you get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Our worship title for this morning, see your prayers are being answered, this morning is Get Smart. Hallelujah. Now, Holy Spirit said, there are, there are those of you right now that right away just got offended from the title. And I'm going to ask you to leave that at the altar before you leave today. Can I get an amen? amen. Say it with me, get smart. get smart. Praise God. Luke 23, verse 34. Lord Jesus Christ said, Father, forgive them. And this is what brings us to this title, Get Smart. And Holy Spirit wanted to just... Preach this message in this new way. And I'm struggling, so pray for me. But Lord Jesus Christ said, forgive them. Now we have to understand what Lord Jesus Christ was going through when he said, Father, forgive them. And I pray that we get smart because Holy Spirit is going to change our lives on this glorious moment today. Are you ready, church? Yeah. Let's give God praise. Amen. Forgive them. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Forgive them. And he continues on to say this, For they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. Now, Lord Jesus Christ said the reason why he wanted to to, to, to bless us with this message and that Holy Spirit will do the mighty work within our hearts, renewing our mind with this thought is, we, we just saw what God did on that cross through His perfect beloved Son. Amen? How many of you have children? Raise your hand. Amen? Amen? Could you imagine? Holy Spirit just blessed us with this song, I can only imagine. But the glory of God is, yes, the time is coming soon. And as you know, as worshipers of Lord Jesus Christ, blessed with the presence of Holy Spirit in your life, in my life, we know that we are accountable. We are accountable because now we have no excuse to say we don't know. Can I get an amen, beloved church? We cannot say, I, I didn't know. I, I cannot use this as an excuse to my God saying, oh, I did not know. Oh, I did not know that I was supposed to come to church and bless you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I did not know, Father God, that I was supposed to be a blessing unto you first. Oh, I did not know, Father God, that I was supposed... We now know. Amen. Say when we get smart. Get smart. Hallelujah. Listen to this in Matthew 6, verse 14. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Amen? Amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Say, beloved church, loud and proud, I am forgiven. I am forgiven. 
Now let's continue on. Praise God. Because it gets gooder and gooder. But as you know, as a beloved child of God, part of your duties on this earth, in this vapor of a life, is through the presence of God Almighty in your life, you expose this devil because this devil has no power and authority and any say over a beloved child of God. Can I get an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? amen? So listen to this. Next verse, verse 15. But if... That's a big but now. Right? Amen. But. Say it's a big but. <laughs> say it like you mean. That's a big but. <laughs> this is coming out of the mouth of God. Agape himself, Lord Jesus Christ, is telling you this, beloved church family. Listen, all this week I was confronted by people who needed miracles in their life. You know how they received that miracle? Forgiveness. Amen. 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 Say with me, forgiveness. forgiveness. But if you do not forgive others their sins, check this out. Your father, your father, Father God will not forgive your sins. So you're telling me with everything that we just looked at, and this is just a little snippet, this isn't even touching the surface of what God did to demonstrate His eternal love for you, beloved child of God, through Lord Jesus Christ. And you're looking on the screen and you're looking at it, and if you cannot apply this, to your very being, to you yourself, there is something that the enemy has deceived you in. Because this is how much God loves you. I don't care if you're zero years old, I don't care if you're a hundred years old. This is your value. This is your identity. This is who you are in God Almighty. Say His name, Lord Jesus Christ. And God is saying that if you do not forgive others, I will not forgive you. So what are we saved from? Amen? What are we saved from? I'm asking you, beloved family, what are we saved from? May I help you answer that question? You are saved from holding a grudge. You are saved from judging others. You are saved from grumbling, from talking about one another. You are saved from being super religious because guess what? It ain't your religion. Amen. Amen. It's what Lord Jesus Christ did. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All we are called to do is to forgive and love one another. Can I get an amen? Amen. You know, an inspiration as far as this title, and Holy Spirit has such a sense of humor, is simply this. I believe with all my heart that as a beloved child of God, Holy Spirit lives abundantly through anybody who received Lord Jesus Christ. Who is that? It's you, Max. And before we get into that, because I, I, I'm sorry I jumped the gun because Holy Spirit says, say this first. Is that before we approach the throne of God, God wants us to examine ourselves. Amen? Can I get an amen, church? God, God, God wants us to examine ourselves. If you notice, I just, had to, I just had to stop the whole thing altogether. Right now, God is saying, will you examine yourself? Will you examine right now if there's anybody that you have something against? God is asking, is there anybody right now that did you wrong that sometimes this person creeps into your mind and you find yourself feeling upset? You know, this is something serious now, beloved family, because here is God saying right now, if you hold on to this unforgiveness, you're actually leaving the door open in your life for the devil to have his way with you. You're actually, you're actually leaving that door open for things of this world to keep come on in and make their house in you. God is saying Himself that you have to give it to me. You have to forgive them. Because if you don't, God is saying Himself, I can't do nothing. Because did He not do everything on that cross for us already? 
already. Amen. Is there anything left for Lord Jesus Christ to do? No. I'm asking you, beloved church, is there anything left for your Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, is there anything left for, for Him to do to save you? No. Can you get more saved? No. I, last time I checked, you're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. Amen. Amen? Let me ask you something, beloved church family. I'm going to challenge you right now. If we're out of here in the next five minutes, in the next half an hour, the trumpet goes off. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you this. You're in God's presence, but nothing changes about you. You're just in your glorified body. Are you a blessing to God at that very moment? Or are, are you just deceived by the enemy thinking, well, I'll be a better person when I go to heaven? Huh? Beloved family, I'm asking you right now. Because see, I believe strongly in my heart the devil is trying to lay out deception after deception over his holy church thinking that we can hold on to unforgiveness when it's the lie and, the, and it's a trap of the enemy. This enemy wants you to hold on to that unforgiveness thinking that you have the right. But I just showed you what God did on that cross for you. If you truly receive Lord Jesus Christ into your life, if you truly say that Jesus Christ is Lord, if you say that I received everything that you did, Lord Jesus Christ, because I know that I am forgiven. Listen, I know. I know. I know because I was there with you. On that glorious day when we received Lord Jesus Christ, I was there with you. We're one body in it now, right? Amen. But beloved church family, listen. Something happens in that exchange where we come and say, Save me, Lord Jesus Christ. I make you Lord and Savior. And, and now we know that we're saved. Right? We know that we have His blood. We know that we are beloved children of God. But something takes place at this moment when we stand up and we walk away. Something happens in this moment where we think that we have the right, that we did something holy and righteous, when we did it, he did.
entire church. Forgive the pastors. Forgive whoever hurt you. That is, say, we'll be covered by the blood. This means if you have an ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend, oh, it got really quiet now. Dude. Gosh, you should see a lot of people got two inches higher. They just, this means you need to plead the blood of the Lord Jesus and forgive them.
we react to that distraction. Amen? See, as a beloved child of God, I love standing before my God, covered by His blood, Jesus Christ is my Lord, my Master. And I know because I can see that glorious day. Pastor and I, we talk about all the time. That we will be held accountable for everything as pastors. And we have to be accountable. And God is going to look through us and see everything. Say it with me. He knows everything. And the glory of God is this. Is that when you worship and you're thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have this relationship with the Holy Spirit. That every moment of every day, Holy Spirit is working in and through you. Amen. I'm a better person now than I've ever been. Now.
because he's everywhere. He lives in you and he's everywhere. Amen? And when God calls you to go pray somewhere, don't be ashamed. Because you'll find out that when you go and you're just praising God and you're happy, oh, there's a divine encounter. There's a divine setup, right? And I love it because this person said, you know, what's that on your shirt? Born twice. Because I have the shirt that said born with the number two on it, right? And I said, I said, bro, that means I'm born again. But Jesus is my Lord, and I said, praise God, you're born again. And he goes, well, what does that really mean? I said, is Jesus your Lord? And he said, yes. I said, that means you died. Galatians 2.20 talks about that. I am crucified in Christ. That you died. And he said, huh? And you didn't, it's amazing because he looked at me and said, what? I said, you called our name Lord Jesus Christ, right? You said, I need you, Lord. He said, yes. You died. And I looked at him and I said, look, you're looking at me. Family, look at me. If there's anything that you remember, I pray it's this moment right here. I cannot die in I died. I died in Christ. Did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that? I died already. Now somebody look at me and go, well, you're standing here talking and everything. This is my eternal. Or are you going to be prideful because you 
And you know with every fiber, every cell in you, in Jesus' name, you know that God himself, Lord Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, went down into hell, said, Mine.
Say it with your relationship. Listen, I love the pastor just said not too long ago. Satan himself knows who Jesus is. Every devil knows who Jesus is. Guess what? It doesn't fly with me if I run across you in the community. I know it's not you. We're family. We're one in the body of Christ. Amen? But if I run across you and you say, I know Jesus, I will ask you, does Jesus know you? Amen. Because the only way Jesus knows you is that the Father, say him, say his name, Father.
everything, and we're going to close. If you have unforgiveness, I stand before you, above all, as your brother in Christ. I stand before you saying, you heard the Holy Spirit has spoken. That you can choose this day to walk out the same where you can bless God with your offering of forgiveness. You can bless God, maybe it's something that happened, I don't know, when you were a child. Maybe it's that ex that abused you. Maybe it's that loss in your family. Maybe it's a family member that you just keep on, you turn that family member into an idol in your life. That rather than thinking of Holy Spirit all the time, you're thinking about this person. Whatever it is, God is saying, will you give that? Because remember, when we say that now, we stand here before God Almighty saying, say with me, I got smart. I got smart. This is what we're saying to God, that we have salvation through Lord Jesus Christ. That His Holy Spirit manifestation is within the Holy of Holies. That the anointing of God's presence in my life, in my heart, is going to renew my mind. Amen. How many of you want to keep having stinking things? No, no, no. I'm done with that. Amen. Amen? Listen, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I'll tell you right now, I don't fear nothing. Amen. It's in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Can you hear me, beloved church family? It's in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. It's because of my Lord Jesus and what he did. I don't care. I really don't care. I, nothing, nothing moves me, only my God. Amen. Can you stand here and say that about your personal relationship with God? Or is there something in your life that actually kind of got a hold on you right now? Maybe, there, maybe it's children. Maybe it's grandchildren. You know, we live in a different world right now where we got grandmas, grandpas taking care of little ones right now, right? And maybe those little innocent little babies, right? Maybe they become like a God in your life. I don't know. But God is saying, will you just give that to me and allow me, allow God himself to bless your entire family. Amen. Amen? Will you allow God to do that? Amen? Next, repentance. Remember, this is what we're going to exercise here at this altar. Right? You notice this is this is God's holy building. But this altar we take very seriously. Amen. 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 We're not religious about it. Right. Holy Spirit dealt with all of us as pastors, as leaders. This is intimate between you and God. Amen. Now don't get me wrong, if an elder, if a pastor is going through the Holy Spirit to anoint you in oil, we will do it in obedience to God, but we won't go shake it in the wind. <laughs>
I beg you, come. 